Alright, so what's up guys? Welcome back to PFC Plays here. I sound a lot like Faith when I do that. I gotta uh You're obviously copying him, you little fucking idiot. I, yeah. I gotta I gotta stop that. Hey guys, uh, Faith Malimigus here. <laughs> but seriously, Give what's me up guys? Faith here. But Faith seriously no, fucking uh what's Faith up guys? Malimigus. God damn it, Theo. But what's up? We're uh we're back with another uh PFC plays once again. Uh, I'm MLP Fatty, uh, here again with Briss, the Swiftest, In the flesh. and King Theo. Oh yeah, my beans. <laughs> His Ass. beans. Ass! <laughs> so, uh, so last time we left off, we had just beat Crystal Man, we had, uh, we pummeled his face, oh, I mean, I pummeled his face in kind of, sort of, not really, his level's hard, it's fucked up, I absolutely hate that his level. Yeah, smoke, smoking that crystal. You know what? Yeah, I, I feel like he would give you a really trippy high. I don't know, but uh, so I'm gonna move on now. I'm gonna do. I don't know who shot I do. Uh, I'm gonna do Napalm, man. Yeah. You know, I'm not really thrilled with like the level select design in this game. Well, I mean, it kind of looks like the rest of them. I went from sucking this game's dick, like sucking this franchise's dick, to being like. Uh, like slowly to just be like, uh, yeah, I'm not that into it. Yeah, fucking whatever. Yeah, literally, you you went from, hey, Mega Man Five, great. Now you're just like, ah, Mega Man Five sucks. Now Mega Man Five is looking more like fucking Sonic, the first Sonic game with all them goddamn palm trees and shit. Oh God. Are we on fucking Angel Island over here? <laughs> That's from Mega Man Three though. So kind of dropped the ball on that one. Yeah, you did, Briss, Boy. but uh, it's okay. Most of most of the people won't even know what that is anyway. Man, what, that feels Sonic? Like no, the, uh, I mean, well, maybe Angel Island, I don't know. Totally gonna go for this E-Tank because I know how to get it. I really hope I didn't say Mega Man 3 when I meant Sonic 3. Uh, no, I think you said Sonic 3. I hope I did, because if I didn't, then I'm gonna sound like a fucking retard. For tens of people on the internet. Tens? You really think we have tens? Tens of people. You mean for like the one person on the internet that probably watches this that shouldn't be? You should be like studying or doing something else, kid. Please stop watching PFC plays. Yeah, please don't watch us. Like, all right. at all. Uh, hell no. Give me something good. Give me something worth my time. Give him an E-Tank. Wait. Wait for a fucking E-Tank. Nah, uh, 1-Up is good. I mean, for now, it's good. Uh, later on, if I see another one of those red fucks, I might go for the- Aw, oh, shit, I forgot, I gotta shoot you in the head. I never liked those rockets. Like, they're also, like, in Mega Man 3, like, uh, the one enemy that's, like, this weird oval, like, thing with, like, a face, like, and eyes, like, shoots the missiles like that, too. That follow you around, you know, the ones that I'm talking about? Yeah, dude, man. Yeah. That, that, I just hate these enemies. I think this is the only stage they appear in, too, which I'm really okay with that. I am not gonna get this one up. Oh, maybe I will. I, again, I talk about how much of a fan of Mega Man I am, but I don't even know what the names of the robots are. I mean, TBH, neither do I, really. I just know that Mega Man's a great. Oh, fuck. God damn it, Fatty! <laughs> Oh, it put me all the way back here. Ah, fucking hell. I gotta fight this motherfucker again. Reminds me of Woodman stage, too. Like, I don't know, I guess probably it's the theming is probably what it reminds me of. I don't know. Um, reminds me of uh, yeah. Vietnam. Just being in the jungle. Goddamn, I hate Mets. I mean, I love the design, but I just don't like them. Get out of oh, here. Look at that. Look at that fucking Terminator Arnold Schwarzenegger dipping dot dicking motherfucker right there. I mean, I just skipped those guys. I haven't I don't know if you've noticed in the in the first uh play uh, uh episode of this, but I haven't fought a single one of those guys. They they just remind me of um they're, they're just like a recolor, like a retool of um a boss from Mega Man 2, I believe. I'm Is it really? See, yeah, know. it's just like a recolor, like a, oh my Fucker. god, Fatty, you piece of shit. <laughs> um, it, it's like fuck, you're being dick. Oh, all the way like back. It's like a recolor here. or like a retool of a boss from uh, Mega Man Two or Three. 
Uh, not a boss, but a, a, an enemy. Um, it, it, it reminds me of the things from Air Man stage. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Like, the faces like that you have to jump on, like that are up in the sky. Right? Uh, I'm talking like, about like, those fat like sumo guys. The ones that jump up and down, right? Um, Do they jump up and I'm down? talking about the ones that jump up and down, like the ones that Fatty is about to come up on. I'll show you. Um, oh, that guy right there. He's oh. a tool up from a previous game. You gotta remember... I, I, I hardly remember Doc Robot, but he kind of reminds me of Doc Robot. Those invincibility I, I, I frames. Don't, I, don't, I don't know if that's correct, but I slightly remember Doc Robot. It just looks like Guts Man to me, honestly. A lot of things look like a Guts Man. Guts Man's ass. Uh -huh. Yeah, he totally is ass for sure. Guts Man, da da. Oh boy, Dude, these, these things Gu are Guts ass. Man, Guts Man was like a super bro in the Archie comics. Like he even did karaoke and stuff. Well, so well, that's very Japanese of him. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's one of his hobbies. If you look in the instruction manual. Yeah, like, there's all these little factoids and stuff about, like, the bosses. Um, if, like, if you look it up, like, in the manual or, like, online and stuff, like, they have, like, they definitely put a lot of personality into these people. And this is why you need a fucking E-Tank, you fucking, fucking goddamn shit lord. God damn it, like, Bruce. I'm, like, you. I'm nervous, like, I'm nervous just watching you fight this guy. <laughs> it's right, I could do this guy without an E-Tank, I got this. Man, you're like a fucking tar that just that's just running well at his arms trying to like crash into people. <laughs> <laughs> I love the tanks in the background. Just like he just has tanks just like hanging out. It's like yeah, I keep these here. I don't need them because I'm literally a one man army. Shut up, Briss. God damn it. One man army. Dude, look at me wrecking him this time. Well yeah, this time before he just Got your fucking shit wrecked. Look at that. Look at that. Got Not even a single hit that time. You got lucky. Fuck you. You lucky. Fuck you. You got lucky. Fuck you. You. You, got lucky. you got fucking fuck lucky, you Guido you. sack of shit. It's like you got dick. lucky. You just, suck just like you got dick. lucky when you fucking. Mommy, daddy, stop fighting. Just, <laughs> just like you got lucky when you arm wrestled me. I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. Ooh, ass, what do you mean got lucky? Come on, we arm got wrestled lucky. twice. Yeah, you got Get out of here to luck. Well, I had nothing to do with that, man. You, oh. you only got lucky because, like, I tried to arm wrestle Box and he wrecked my shit. And then I was tired. And yes, I am making excuses, so fuck you. Yeah, you are. You're making a lot of excuses right now. You, you guys have forced my hand. <laughs> Uh-oh, I heard a zip. Oh, God. Wrist run. <laughs> Here's my dick! <laughs> So, uh, so, hey, going on to Stone Man, though, I really love this stage. Like, this stage is a lot of fun to play. Motherfucker, until that happens. I've okay. never been a fan of those guys, like, like, I, going back to what I said earlier, I should know the names of this fucking robot, but, like, the, the helmet guys, like, I'm Mets. never a fan of them. Met, meds? Mets. 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 Yeah. Yep, never been a fan of them. Like, uh, there's one particular spot in Mega Man 3, and I believe... I want to say it's Sparkman stage. It's either Sparkman or... Maybe it's... Uh, God damn it, it might be Top Man. But, um, where, like, you literally have to climb down a... You, you have to kill him, and you have to climb down a ladder and climb back up. And it's just, it's just so inconvenient. It's like, it's obvious, like, they just did that to pad out the level. Oh, Metroids. I know, I don't like, I don't like those fucking guys either. It, it generates so much lag, just fighting those guys. I mean, at least you have the fucking Mega Buster. Yeah, true that. Like, any problem I have, I just wreck through with the Mega Buster. All you have to do is just hold down B the whole time, and, like, you're good. Come on, here we go. Alright, I want to go in here though. This little secret. Oh no, I already got the M tank, that's right. 
Yeah, so there, there, um, if I didn't grab that M tank before on, um, Crystal Man's level, there would have been another one there. But obviously, in the, obviously, you could only have one M tank per, well, in this game, you can only have one M tank. I don't know if they changed that in later installments. God damn it, fucking open your shield! Fuck! Come on, fucking open up. Knock knock. I was keeping. I was keeping. I'm literally just getting stressed out watching this. Like, what the fuck? All right, fuck this guy. Um, I'm just gonna take damage, and pass by him. There's this like one segment in Mega Man 2 that like always I hate it so much. Um, so it's at the end of the game, like when you're fighting the second to last boss, and the second to last boss in Mega Man 2 is basically just, I think it's like, six, like, orbs on a wall. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I fucking hate that. Because you have to use Crash Man's power to beat him, and you also have to use Crash Man's power to, like, break down the walls. You know, sort of like Trump. Yeah. And, uh, not, not like Trump. Yep. That's <laughs> yeah, Slip right exactly there. Exactly uh, like Trump. He, 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 he's the one who uh, makes the walls, not breaks them down, but, um, <laughs> but, uh, but basically, like, you have to destroy these Ooh, walls. there's an oh, E-Tank. Got a fucking E-Tank, yes! Awesome. Yeah! Uh, you have to destroy these fucking walls, and, um... And you also have to kill the boss with Crash Man, like, with the same power. And, um... Basically, if you don't go game over, if you, if you die, like, um... The walls, they, they stay gone. But if you go game over, like, you have to destroy the walls again, right? And, um... And you have to use the Crashman power to kill uh, the boss and the walls, and uh, I've reiterated myself like a million fucking times. Yeah, but, um. Uh, so, basically, point what being. I'm trying to, basically, what I'm trying to say is you have to go through the entire level again, and it's one of the last levels in the game. It's a long ass fucking level for a Mega Man game. And, um, you screw up and you die, you have to get all your Crashman power back, so you have to grind at one fucking spot. Uh, with those uh, floaty head enemies, like like I said, I should know the names of these guys, uh, but I don't. But this is what that this is what this stage reminds me of. It's like seeing all those like floaty head things, and just it just makes me feel aggravated just watching it. Boss seems easy though. Oh hell yeah, Stone Man, dude, he's super simple. I mean, look at that with the Napalm Man power, you just wreck him. Like, absolutely wreck him. I'm trying to figure out what, like, what that is in the background. Like, what is, like, his wall decor? Like, is that supposed to be, like, some... some space shit? Like, is that supposed to be, like, some, like... Like, is he building something? Like, is it galactic? Like, I don't even know. Um, I don't know. This game is all over the place sure. with this, like... Uh, with. This game is all over the place with its like visual theming, like and uh, and I like that. Um, most Mega Man games are like that. All aboard the hype train! <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, we are on the hype train right now. So this is Charge Man stage, which is uh, obviously based around a train for whatever reason. I, that I never got, but I love the music in this stage. Too bad you guys aren't gonna hear it till the video goes up. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, dude, th this stage is just so visually appealing. Uh, those little train fuckers. I hate these things. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen this in a long-ass fucking time. It's really unique. Fucking hell. I hate those things, though. Oh yeah, now we're inside the train. Get the can he do it? I mean, can I do it? There, like, there's a boss like that in Mega Man 3 for Sparkman stage that sucks ass. I fucking hate it. It's like you have to, um, you have to go up and you have to, uh, like, uh, what does it do? The slide, like the, like down B or is it down A? Yeah, it's down A, right? It's the jump button. Ah, uh, um, yeah, down A. And, uh, like, it's that uh, particular type of enemy that shoots, like, three things at you, 
and then when those three things go off screen, like, it'll shoot three more at you. But instead of just, like, going in a straight line, like, platforming like uh, Daddy here is doing, uh, you have to do, like, some sliding maneuvers. Like, it's really fucking annoying. I hate it. And like I said, like, I've gone from, like, sucking this franchise's dick to, like, talking about how much I hate this game and think it's retarded. <laughs> I'm getting really good at this part, though. Roll as hot as fuck. Oh yeah, there's a there's a, a really funny scene in Mega Man Legends where um, Mega Man like actually spies on Roll like when she's changing. I mean, she is I mean, hot she... as fuck though, so I mean, I would I would do a little bit more than spying, possibly. And she's technically his sister, so there's that too. All right, so here's um. One of my favorite not favorite bosses. But apparently with Stone Man's power, you can make easy work of him. If I could get it to hit. Dude, fuck you. Fuck you, Charge Man! I'm not wasting any tank on this. Just use the fucking E-Tank, you retard. Use the E-Tank! No! God damn it. I mean, at least, you at least you didn't run out of your fucking, like, energy for the, for the oh, fucking for, weapon. Oh, for the, uh, for the power stone? Yeah, hell no. Dude, you get a lot of this. It's like, sort of like, uh, well, not quite like uh, Metal Blades from Mega Man 2, but yeah. Dude, that was so fucking broken in Mega Man 2, like, the fucking Metal Blades. Man some of the most overpowered weapons in gaming. You can literally power through most of the game with Metal Blades. Because you could actually direct the shot and it worked on pretty much everything. Alright, so fuck this. I'm not good with the power... Power Stone power, even though they highly recommend using it in this fight. I'm just gonna do this guy the way that I know how to do this guy. God damn it. Fuck off, mate. And before Fatty dies. Shut up, Briss. Yeah, there oh, we go. Got yeah. him. Fuck yeah. you, Briss. Fuck you. <laughs> Did it. Ah, alright. Now just to do Wave Man. And I think I think because I game over it, I have to go back and get the other letters that I uh that I grabbed in the like the first two stages, so I wanna check that. If if we do gotta do that, we'll do that in this episode, cause that'll be that'll just be quick shit. Or you could do is uh, fucking off screen or something. It doesn't even matter. Oh yeah, true that. Um, yeah. So here, I'll check when I go into Wave Man. Oh yeah, Mr. Wave Man. Is he giving us the finger? Like, uh, is that what he's doing? Yeah, dude, that's totally what he's doing. That's not a trident. What are you talking about? Uh, no. So I don't need to get, re get the letters. All right, cool. Where's the E at? Uh, this stage. Alright. It's it's when we do the um uh the part where you get on that like wave rider thing and like you start getting like all cool and shit and whatnot. Now I don't remember which one this is. I think it's this one. Man, look at all this fucking ventilation. Ah uh, no, I went through the wrong one. I wanted to get that one up. Looks like that ain't gonna happen though. Fuck this stage! Holy shit! I need a goddamn. They didn't even put any enemies there. Like just like those fucking. Shut up, Riss. <laughs> I know I'm bad at this game, okay? Oh, what the fuck? All right. I'm not faulting you for it. Nah, man. You... I mean, our fans might, but I mean, I'm not. I'm a fuck our fans, and they don't know shit. See, look at this, man. I'm bubble jumping right now. They wouldn't know how to bubble jump. <laughs> what is bubble jump? What is bubble jump? Please tell me. Oh, please tell me right now. All right, here we go. Well, my favorite part of this level, and it's like it, it's like the whole entire part of this level. This little wave rider. Wasn't there another part, like a, like another guy that you fought, where like you were in mountains? In like you were mountains. in a mountain. Wasn't it Stone Man? Uh, yeah, that's- yeah, that's where I was at. 
before. This must be uh, fairly close to Stone Man. Yeah, yeah, totally. Because the background environment is like pretty much the same. <clears throat> Man, I love it when uh, games have like uh, like like the course, like the levels are kind of connected. Oh yeah, mini boss time. Yep, visual theming. <clears throat> yeah, like uh, they were not gonna do that for Sonic Three and Knuckles, but like they uh, switched a few of the stages around. I mean, it for Mega Man Three, like a Sonic, uh, not Mega Man Three. <laughs> God damn it, I did it again, guys. <laughs> you, you guys need to keep me on point, man. Hell no, I man. I swear to God, y'all, got, y'all motherfuckers gotta keep me in check. If you're gonna fuck uh, up, I'm gonna let you fuck up. For, uh, for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, like, uh, like, the theming is there. Like, I was never, uh, like, when, like, when I was a kid, I, I played Sonic 3, but I never really played Sonic 3 and Knuckles all that much. But, like, for Sonic 3, I definitely know, like, the theming is there. Because it goes from, uh, it definitely, uh, moves from, like, a what, like, the, uh, the island level to, uh, like, the underwater level, like, you actually go underwater, like, you go down a waterfall, like, Knuckles, like, fucks you over, and then, for some reason, you wind up in, like, some kind of Greek garden bullshit. Greek garden? Yeah, fucking what? Marvel Gardens. Yeah, Marvel Gardens is the third level. Oh my god. Uh, and that's, like, that's out of nowhere, but, uh, I can definitely tell they tried with the theming, but, like, they were so like, uh, we gotta go from the underwater level to like the weird level where, the weird level where they fall down a lot and there's like trees in the background and we don't know how to get from there to there. But uh, yeah, they, yeah, they they were gonna do like better theming, but they switched a few of the levels around. Like I forgot what what level specifically, but uh, yeah, I I know from like uh from Marble Gardens you go to um. Uh, Carnival, what is it, Carnival Nights? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, it's the, the Carnival level, like, it's, like, it's literally, it's as a jarring transition from, like, uh, like, the, the theme of, like, being in the jungle and, like, uh, being around all these statues and stuff like that and, like, these, yeah. uh, these Moai heads and stuff like that, and then, like, suddenly you're in a fucking Carnival. All right, well, uh, I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, you know, just kicking the fuck out of Wave Man right there. But and then you gotta uh, fight Proto Man. Hell yeah, but we're gonna save that for the next episode. So, I'm Fatty, he's Briss, we got Theo here, and we'll catch you guys next time. We See totally ya. phoned this in. Fuck that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so one thing that I totally noticed is I actually